Matt is asking any tips about enrolling devices uh, from AD to Intune. Uh, that actually does remind me. Hold on. Matt pointed me to a fantastic blog post that was posted on Monday uh, from Andrew Taylor. Yeah. Around enrolling Windows devices into Intune. Um, so credit to Matt for pointing this out. I, I forgot to put this on the list for today. Um, Andrew goes through a number of scenarios um, and things to look out for when you are enrolling devices. Um, whether you're, if we go up to the top here, you can see in the, the index, whether you're going to enroll through GPO or you're going to enroll through autopilot or provisioning package, all of these different methods that we have available to us. Um, really a, a comprehensive post on, on how you can configure these methods, why you may or may not want to use some of them, um, and a little bit of troubleshooting in here as well. Um, oh, absolutely brilliant. Good stuff. Yeah. Things to look out for, though, in terms of actually enrolling. Um, <laughs> the, the common ones, right? Uh, the, the things that you and I might find obvious, but we're all going to um, we're all going to run into. Make sure your licenses are out there um, and assigned to the proper users. Um, make sure Andrew put right here at the top of this blog post, make sure your MDM scope um, is set to either all, if you want everyone in your organization to be able to enroll, or some, set that to a group of users that you know has an Intune license and will be able to enroll. Um, those are two very common pitfalls. I've been guilty of them myself uh, oh, yeah. many times. Same yeah, same here, same here. So I, I think those would be my first, those would be my two big tips. Um, and I, I think I can probably speak for Johan that those would, those would be two of his as well. Yeah, I mean, it's important to know also if, if you decide to go the switch over completely, not just keep them in a hybrid mode scenario, but if you go into legacy like active directory now and want to go into later, a very reliable option is simply to reimage them and, and go to that platform that way, because that way you're guaranteed there is no junk left over on the devices from previous group policies or hundreds of policies that may have been applied over the lifetime of, device, of the devices. Um, Matt had a follow-up question here around enrollment. So even after looking at some of those issues on, um, uh, you know, licensing, making sure that we have MDM scope set properly, there are still some errors here and there about enrolling devices. Um, absolutely. That's when you can start to do a bit of deep diving, um, you know, checking the status of, of the device joining to Entra through the DS reg command. Um, you may have to go a little bit further and uh, whack the device with a hammer, not physically, of course, but the uh, DS reg command leave and rejoin. Um, if you are uh, in a hybrid scenario um, and you are doing the enrollment through group policy, uh, you may need to do a GP update uh, force. You could have corrupt group policy on a device uh, that could be causing uh, these enrollment errors. There are so many things that could be going wrong. Um, and I know Matt and I have had the opportunity to discuss a few of them, uh, thankfully, but there's there's so many moving parts and pieces. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so Max have had a fairly lengthy article on troubleshooting uh, enrollment issues mm -hmm. uh, from Intune with some tips and tricks on, on how to how to find them and how to mitigate them. So m the most common errors uh, you will find here and recommendations on the mitigations to, to, to fix them. So if you haven't stumbled across this blog post or blog post, this documentation here, uh, I recommend review that one. And then we also have from our friend Matthias, we have showcased this a few times, 
but over at MS Endpoint Manager, not that post. I've been visiting it many times, it looks like, but in solutions that we have the Intune Debug Toolkit that also has a bit of uh, analytics and scripts that you can run to, to help you troubleshoot some of these scenarios. So that's a good one as well. And then of course we have some native functionality built into the Intune client to collect log files and event logs and other things. Uh, your number one friend in terms of enrollment issues in the event log is going to be uh, the following. Uh, if you go to the event log and uh, wait very patiently while it's expanding, very patiently while it's expanding. <laughs> of course. So down here, you have the device management diagnostics uh, provider here. This one can also provide you with insights on why an enrollment may or may not work, especially in the admin part here. So let's see what else. Well, we have the sync ML viewer from Oliver Kieselbrach showcased that a few times uh this is i believe the latest version um, but this tools also has a ready-made shortcuts over to common runs of the m diagnostics tools in windows so for example the one for enrollment and device provisioning so plenty of options available See if I can get the link to that one. Uh, why did he trust this link? There we go. That's the one. So, saving that one as well. So plenty of tools available, but it is a bit of a challenge to some uh, tool troubleshoot some of these enrollment issues. I know Rudy Ohms had a few as well. He's been posting uh, primarily around uh, certificate issues with enrollment. Let's see if I can find those. Yeah, basically go to his blog and search for enrollment and you'll find some uh, inspiration for troubleshooting as well. Um, here's an example from a few, uh, few years back or two years back. So, yeah. I can see he is also an avid user of AI <laughs> to <laughs> generate images for his blog posts. Indeed. All right, so hopefully that's a nice collection of what we can do uh, in order to look at some issues when we inevitably have <laughs> trouble enrolling a device. It is inevitable. Yeah. 